Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat 1. This is part 3 of unboxing Cotty's collection. These are her own fashion row outfits. They're part of Cotty's collection, but technically Cotty would never wear them. These are modern outfits inspired by the fashion of 1920s. I also heard they're not a part of Cotty's permanent collection, which means once they sell out, they won't be available anymore. Someone wrote to American Girl Customer Service and that's the answer they received. At least that's what I heard. And by the way, if you're new to my channel and interested in all things American Girl, but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so you do let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but right now I'm posting every day. I always post the latest American Girl news and likes. I also post crafts and unboxing. First, I'm going to review glitzy sequin gown and cape lit outfit for 18 inch dolls. This outfit retails at $50. All three outfits in this series are designed by Samantha Black, a New York City designer. Jamaican American fashion designer Samantha Black graduated from Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, NY. As a designer, she takes bits and pieces of inspiration from her culture to New York City and more. She then combines that with her own personal style, personality, and flavor, thereby producing her woman's ready-to-wear line, Sammy B. Sammy B is an It Girl's favorite, worn by some of your favorite celebrities, and gracing esteemed publications such as Elle, Nylon, Pink Magazine, In Style, and Essence Magazine, to name a few. Samantha designs for the rule breakers, risk takers, and go-getters. This outfit reminds me of a performance outfit. These outfits aren't meant to be realistic. They are inspired by 1920s, and they're meant to remind us of the glitz and glamour of that time period. Look how shiny the sequins are. Actually, it's a really nice day today. Then the sun makes the sequins shine bright. The capelet piece is very long. I'm actually surprised it's lined on the top part. The long parts aren't lined. Look at this beautiful silver border. I really love how silver and gold go together. This is a dress, it's pretty simple. It's made out of the same sequin fabric. The fabric is thin mesh with sequins sewn into it. There's no lining on the dress. There are, however, built-in underpants. It's a beautiful dress. I can see how this can be used for all kinds of performance acts. For example, if your doll's an ice skater, she can use this for an ice skating routine. Or if she's a ballroom dancer, she can use it as a dance outfit. glittery color. The bow accents are absolutely adorable. The material is kind of faux leather or vinyl. The glitter is already inside of it so it's not going to fall off. The shoes have a small heel. And here's a golden glitter headpiece. It's such an unusual piece. It's definitely part of a performance outfit. It reminds me of something like this. It makes it look like sun rays are radiating off the doll's head.
I'm gonna take a more detailed look at the capelet. This outfit's pretty expensive, and I think it's mostly because of the capelet. This kind of fabric is hard to work with, but all the seams are nice, and the details are beautiful. Like I mentioned before, the top part of it is lined. It was kind of difficult to put it on the doll. I think that part can be tricky. They could have made it a different way. You kind of have to squeeze the head through the opening, and that way you can ruin the hair. So this is the only negative part I have about this outfit. It would be really hard for a child to put it on a doll. It's definitely made for adult collectors. It looks absolutely beautiful though. I like how Claudia looks in it. I imagine that she might be a child movie star. Here's a shoe with a tiny heel. I think this is an absolutely breathtaking outfit. Let me know your opinion of it in the comments. The next outfit is Jazzy Flapper and Fur Co outfit. It retails at $48. I know a lot of people really wanted a flapper outfit for a 1920s doll, but that would not be period appropriate for a child. Flappers were much older young ladies, but a flapper inspired outfit works great because technically it's not part of Claudie's historical collection. I absolutely love this coat, it's so soft. I don't know what kind of material they use, but it's really soft to touch. I just love it. It's fully lined and very well made. It doesn't have any buttons and it doesn't stay closed, but that's just the look they're going after. And here's the long-awaited flapper dress. It's very delicate and beautiful. Look at all the lace details and the mesh on the top and the embroidery on the bottom. It's less detailed on the back, but still very beautiful. The satin material feels very good quality. Definitely worth $48 for the set. The shoes that come in this outfit are very plain. Most of the expenses from this outfit come from the dress and the jacket. The bow is made out of the same fabric as the dress, and it has a clip on the back. It's really super cute, and it's easy to attach it to a doll's hair. I think Claudie can wear it with other outfits as well. Here's Claudie wearing just the dress and I think it looks so amazing. I think pearls would look really good with this. They're pearls that came from the performance accessory set. Here's everything that came in the set. Everything looks good and high quality. I can totally see why it costs $48. I think this outfit might be my favorite from the three. I definitely recommend it, it's so detailed. The last item I'm gonna be reviewing today is sparkly skirt and fur trim top outfit. It retails at $48. pictures they made it look like the top was fabric with sequins on it but the sequins are just printed onto the fabric it's still very pretty 
It just doesn't shine as much as actual sequins. That's why I prefer the first outfit. This top is really nicely made, and the fur trim is really cute. sewn into the front part. They're kind of longer in the middle and shorter as they get to the sides. The skirt is pleated on the front and the back. I'm really happy about it. The material feels really nice. It's definitely synthetic, but it looks similar to Dupioni silk. The color of the skirt is rose gold. The tights are pretty basic. They're mostly black with some rose gold speckles. The headband's made out of the same fabric as the top. It's really cute and it has a button in the middle. I have an issue with the headband though. It doesn't have a Velcro or a stretchy part. And the fabric itself is not very stretchy. It was kind of hard to put on Claudie. I was really afraid to ruin her curls. So I might actually modify it to have it open and close in the back. Just like the capelet, it looks like it was made for collectors and not for kids. The shoes are cute and they have some rhinestones on the straps. This is Claudie's look number three for today. This might be my least favorite look, mostly because the headband was so tight, but it's still a beautiful outfit. I'm definitely glad I bought it. This is a display at American Girl Place NYC. Please let me know how you rank these outfits. My favorite's the blue flapper outfit. My second favorite's the gold outfit. The fur trim top has to be number three. I think these outfits were made with adult collectors in mind. They're definitely more complex and harder to put on than your normal outfit. At the same time, they're bringing the glitz and glamor of the 1920s. The roaring 20s. That's it for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but this week I'll be posting every day. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.